It's been years since I've gone to the fair. I usually bypass this stuff because it's all the same old, same old. It's not my cup of tea per se. Stoner alternative friend wants to go. So Trevor, uh, hit Trevor's idea. Going to Illinois State Fairground. Don't say I've ever been to this one. God, just... let's, let's see how long we can tolerate uh, going out and about and, and all the crowds and stuff. Oh, shit. Uh, we'll see how long um, it takes. It's 3.22 uh, p.m. now arriving. We'll see how long we last uh, here. Be interesting. All right, so we're waved in by this gentleman on the other side of the car. Trevor was actually saying... He's like, I don't know if we'll make it here. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> so I, I was like, uh, and that was, you know, t not even a minute later. I was at 3.23 uh, p.m. <laughs> I don't think he realized this was the state fair. This is the big, you know, this isn't the small shindigs they have. I heard right. fair, and that's all I knew. Still here, debating if we uh, want to do this, if it's really worth it. I told him, you know, I, uh... Stoner alternative friend, I can do, you know, if you want to do this, I'll suck it up. Uh, but I can think of numerous other things to preoccupy my time. Sweaty people and overpriced shit. Ridiculous. Let's see what the verdict is. What are you thinking? <laughs> I looked at my bank account right now and I said and I'm we're saying both broke it. bitches yeah we're both broke <laughs> bitches ah there we go we didn't laugh I <laughs> 328 arrived at uh, I think it was 322 328 we decided uh, no go abort 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 we ended up changing our mind sorry about that that's okay <laughs> but it wasn't a wasted trip I ended up getting a uh, six pack and a pound I don't treat myself very often to Taco John's. You know, they don't sponsor us, so you know. But I can't resist their potato lays. I gotta have them every once in a while. It's been at least almost a year since I've had them, and this bitch hasn't had it before. And uh, so it's first time. And he, I think he liked the uh, potato lays. Oh yeah. He tried it and he just went um. So yes. First time I've ever been stopped here at this crossing just outside the village, not far from the mansion. So, yeah. Excited. Trains! I know. I grew up, I love trains. I have model trains. So it's actually at the mansion. I still have it set up and I had it since I was a kid. Yeah, we had a little bit of a no encounter there with a lady kind of swerving around the lane because she was texting and driving. And the dumbest place to do it through here is just on the outskirts of St. Louis, uh, rush hour time frame. Traffic is busy, as you can see. We're kind of stop and go again. And uh, this lady was just commencing to be on her phone and she was kind of doing this. So. That got to me, and I'm, I said what I just said, and then he honked. I didn't know he was gonna honk when I was like, camera going on. I was like, oh god, we're gonna have road rage here. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Officer, there is someone texting back there, where were you? Uh. All right, we're kind of in the scenic area here, which is kind of nice. Water. 
looks green as hell. Probably brain is eating amoebas in there too. Brookdale Farms, there's the actual sign here. All right, so we are getting close to... Oh, I think I see him now. Sunflower maze. We have even like a carnival type thing here. Fresh squeezed lemonade. Life gives you a lemon, you squeeze them. Oh, cool. I have the old tractors. Pick the sunflowers, let them be. Checking out the, <laughs> the old deer. Yeah, boy. All right, here we go. Entering into the abyss of the sunflower. It's kind of cool, all these honeybees. Hey, bee. Well, we removed your queen and hive last year. Maybe, well, of your relatives, I'm sure. I'm just waiting for a fucking black bear wasp to come out. <laughs> just Sting, give you a memory, a lasting uh, mark that you feel for the rest of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Are you allergic? No. Okay, me neither. I'm good. Oh yeah. Hey, big, big boy, big girl. That one will actually attack you, I think. Usually not. Bees usually mind their own. It's only like if I went to try to pick it up or squeeze it with my fingers, that's a different story. Yeah. I, I heard black bees in particular, and just like the big old bees will fucking sting you till... Till the cows come home. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So we're enjoying ourselves here. Sunflower maze. First time I've ever been to a uh, a maze of plants that's sunflowers. Um, next goal, I can cross this one off the bucket list, would be lavender fields. I would love to go and just the scent of the oh, so peaceful. I just meditate in one of those. But there's a ton of bees here, just kind of watching them do their thing. It's really cool. You leave them alone, they're leaving you alone. Um, let's see here. I feel like I want to go up to one and ask it a question. Hey, worker bee, how's your day been? You been uh, uh, busy? Yes, you have? Okay, I think that was a yes. How about you, uh, honey bee? How are you doing, honey bee? You uh, having a good time there? Oh, you shook your butt at me. I think that's a yes. Okay, cool. Alrighty, we'll move on now. Hey, there's a different one. I think I found the goth sunflower. These are like ones I planted before. Yeah, holy shit. I, I they're, like they're red velvet or something. I can't remember their... <gasps> oh. Yep. The one that stands out amongst the rest. It's kind of a good metaphor, symbolic of alternative person standing out in the sea of rednecks. Just be another cherished moment, I guess. Oh, that one I planted ones like that, too. They're pretty. Oh. Yeah, you don't see these. Mm -mm. I got like, the multi-pack that had like a shit ton of them in it. Yeah. It's like when I was in like fucking kindergarten and first grade, we did a little thing on sunflowers and mm -hmm. Everyone knows the yellow ones, but people don't know like the faded ones right. or like the kind of yeah. And then this is like the mammoth ones. This is like ones I planted also. They're like freaking huge. Yeah, twelve foot tall. <laughs> uh, just shining above everyone else. Make for a good natural fence. Yeah. Fight. Got enough seeds to plant. A lot to be this thick. Yeah. And ah, the sunflower is moving. <laughs> <laughs> bright, shiny, sunny day. Bright, sunny day. It's like, oh, we 
chose the wrong path. We reached a dead end, a cul-de-sac within the flowers. Got more bees though. Yeah. Got that thing. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is definitely like speaking of brush. I mean, it's definitely just somewhere Bob Ross is looking down and being like, "This place is a happy little accident." Happy little accident. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, reached another dead end here. They should have, uh, like in the malls where they have the sign that says, You are here. And I'll probably take the fun out of it a little bit, but. <laughs> we have the solo flower. It's kind of out by itself. I think we're going in the right direction now. After a couple dead ends black. It's pretty. Is that you? The fuck was that? What was that? Someone call you? No, it wasn't a call. It was fucking the chicken dance. Just coming from my phone. I think it was from Facebook. I think I accidentally like pocket opened Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we call it butt dialed back in the day when it was phones. Your pocket now opens your social media. Oh, there's no dials. Yeah. It's funny though, so it's chicken dance. If it's a hamster dance next, I'll, I'm gonna like have you like shut the phone off. We don't need that here. <laughs> hey, look at this, another solo one. Uh, oh, it's soft right here. Stepping on the dirt in my vans. And if you listen to the sunflowers and look at them, they're kind of going in the direction. They're all pointing towards the way. So a lot of them are facing this way. So we might be going, we just gotta listen to the sunflowers. Become one with the sunflower. It will guide us in the right direction. It will show us the way. It will definitely show us the way. Speed on the number numbers. Yes. Ah, oh, bug. <laughs> Beef. Yes. Bollocks. Yes. Then there's the, uh, the tall one over there. He's <clears throat> acting like the beacon, looking over all the sunflowers. Big, the big daddy. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Yeah, so we'll go this way. I'll just follow the big daddy. We'll see here. The big daddy knows the way out. Getting there. Getting there. All right. So we become one with the sunflowers. And one with Big Daddy. Shit. Once you listen to the sunflowers and you listen to Big Daddy who looks over the sunflowers, then you know you're in, in the right hands. Are you though? I, th I think so. Just Are don't you? go that way. I'm learning something. I'm paying attention here. Are you Those people attention? that are kind of with, with us, when they backtrack or come in a different direction, we know not to go that direction because they're finding the dead ends. They're the canaries in the cavern. <laughs> so we just follow the Big Daddy, which is over here. I think we're going in the right direction. Yes, I recognize that. I don't want to cheat, but I'll use a uh, like a periscope from a submarine. I'll look ahead. Yeah, I think it's good. Is this cheating? Yes. <laughs> All right. Using Oop. admin tools. Yeah, exactly. All right. Oh, ow. <laughs> Walk the little ones by. After all, they. They're down here at this height. They can't even see what we can see. Cool. Did you enjoy? Yeah. It's it was, different. It was pretty different. Yeah. From the typical like corner like pumpkin maze. Right. Or just sitting at home on the computer. Yeah. Because it's like that looks exactly like the Tonka truck that I used to have as a kid. Yeah. Dude, it is. <laughs> No, it is! Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> no! Hey, so it's modeled after this thing, huh? Yeah, this this is what I literally played with when I was a kid, because my parents, or my grandparents had old ass toys from when they were kids, and... Bruh, this is like... <laughs> this is as close as I'm getting. The real life version. Yeah.
all the gauges and stuff. The old harvester, it's seen better days. Yeah. <laughs> We're wrapping up this trip, I think, here soon. Not much else to see, I think. Um, I might use a pour potty here, and I have not used one in years. They kind of terrify me. I'm uh, not a fan, but sometimes you got to take one for the team. <laughs> so uh, I'll go in and prepare myself very much like if I'm about to go into a Walmart. <laughs> 